Hey YouTube, Grandpa printed some new kicks. Hey YouTube, if it's your first time here, my name is Will. Welcome to the channel. So I've been printing off some TPU. That's right, Daddy's got a new set of heaters. Uh, and we had some good, we had some really nice stuff, and then we had some bad and some not so bad. But anyway, uh, as far as the print goes uh, and using TPU, I'm, I kind of like it. I, I'm going to print TPU more. I've just got to figure out what to print. It, it prints nice, um, nice and strong on the plate, and really, really flexible um, piece. I can't wait to try them on. I did try this one on, which was not such a good deal um but to be all fair i it was a shoe that actually was set up on the plate like this and i didn't want to sp spend all the uh well i really didn't have a way to be honest with you to put um, any supports underneath it i don't have a printer that has two different heads and even if it did it I may not be able to do it because I wound up getting um, TPU 85A. I would shoot in order to get some 90 and I had thought I had ordered 90 but apparently in my old age I just click buttons and don't think about the consequences and here I am with 85A. So uh, I attempted that uh, uh, the first time and I've got some pictures right here. Um, just the toe, just got this much done and, and it was terrible. So, but uh, anyway, we'll um, tear those off of the plate in just a few seconds. One thing I wanted to go over uh, with you before we get there is your health. And um, just uh, recently, uh, I started to change the air filter in my uh, my air purifiers, and I would realize that there's going to be lots of fumes and stuff, and I think it's best to, to protect yourself. And the reason why I say that, uh, when I was just a freshman in high school, um, we had cigarette machines in the high school lobby for kids. We had a smoking area out front. So at, in the ninth grade, I was legal to go buy cigarettes, right? 35 cents a pack. They were cheap. But uh, big, big corporations don't care about your lungs that much. And that's on down the road, so they don't worry about it. So you need to worry about it first. Uh, so my suggestion is go get an air purifier. I don't care where you get it, but as long as you get it. Now, I do have a link for the one I use here, and this is a True Cozy. All right, and I left that link down below. Uh, I want to show you, just in six months, what could have been in my lungs. So, and uh, these have a carbon filter back, and uh, these are HEPA filters, each one of them. Uh, it is double-sided, so there's another one on the back side. And this thing is super quiet. And I know it works because every time I turn on a printer, it goes from green to blue. And sometimes if I'm printing uh, a couple things at a time from different printers, it stays in the red and just sucks that air up. But, yeah. So there is a hazard in your print room. And you just need to be aware of that. Um, it's either that or get one of them big air mask and just wear it around all the time but this is probably easier um, this unit was 50 bucks uh, on Amazon and if I ordered it now I could get it today um, so I think 50 bucks is worth five years of your life at the end all right I want to get past 75 that sweet spot you know what I'm saying but um, if, if it if it works for me it can work for you uh, but another good thing about this unit is it comes with another set of filters uh, right in the box with it. So you, you already have your six every six month supply. Now, once you do this, uh, once you take them out and put them in here, you just go ahead and order another set. I think it's like twelve bucks, and you're ready in six months down the road and get to live a little bit longer. That's awesome. But um, 
Yeah, cool. Anyway, I wanted to get with you on that before I got into the shoes because I know you wouldn't wait to the end to see that, and I'm worried about your health. True Cozy, right below. All right. Yeah, that's... You see that? Yeah. That could have been in my lungs. I quit smoking cigarettes. God. I want to say 35 years ago. I didn't really smoke that much anyway. My wife would wake up at 7 a.m., put her feet on the floor, and reach for a cigarette. I'm like, why? But anyway, I'm ready to put some shoes on. Um... These uh, took approximately, uh, approximately, um, I want to say 14 hours uh, each to do. Um, uh, I'll make a link below to where I got them. I, they were on um, bamboo, so you can just pull it off of there. Uh. Wow, that one came off better than this one. Of course, I reoriented. Uh, this one to that and then painted uh, supports under here so they were pretty hard and I guess I could have painted some ports under here I don't know how I would have got it got them painted up underneath there but I could have tried I guess I came off the plate really nice I like TPU why was I scared of it why have I been scared of all the other uh, filaments I haven't tried yet oh because I hadn't tried them yet that's another thing too. I, I get some comments sometimes, um, like the last video. Oh, by the way, thank you so much for watching that video. Um, such a, a long um, duration people did, but um, yeah, um, they said it, you know that's what's holding them back is the fusion from getting a, a 3D printer. Well, don't do that. You don't need a three. You don't need to know fusion to do 3D printing. Uh, you just need to have a printer. There's hundreds of thousands of, of files. And if you need a file, call me. Shoot. I'll, I'll help you out. I mean, I'm learning something. I wouldn't mind making a little money off of that too, you know. Uh, that's one thing I'm trying to do. Uh, even since, you know, when I first started all this and started YouTube, I really didn't think anything of it. I mean, YouTube was, to me, was going to take two or three years to get to a thousand subscribers. I hit it yesterday, and 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 that's in it's in five weeks. So, thank you very much. Oh my God, so blessed. Um, so, this one, yeah, I don't I don't have any post cleanup either. Pretty nice. All right, let's pull the other one. Let me grab it. I mean, they're good looking shoes, and nice and soft. I just don't see a very thick sole, but you know what? We're in the early stages of all of this, aren't we? You're at the forefront of printing out shoes every time you need a pair. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm doing a pair right here. At least these I wear out in public. There's some of the other ones. Young people. Those are the called the heaters. I'm going to make these into heaters. I'm going to go take them to the airbrush and uh, customize them uh, put my logo on it you know some flames and stuff like that has me a heater i asked uh ai what was the new slang kicks I already knew i didn't know about heaters and there was a couple of other ones but uh yeah so let's try them on Should put a camera down here so you can see them. Now I scaled them. Ooh. <laughs> I scaled them pretty good. Uh, I, I said they were 11, and that's what I normally wear is an 11. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Old oh, men. White shoes. For me, it's black socks. I, I wear black anyway. Black shoes, black socks. Just because old men wear them, I'm trying not to be old. Oh, God. I managed to drag 199 pounds out of bed every day. Ugh. Oh, yeah. That's another one. 
All right. You don't feel bad. Feels like maybe house slippers. I bet you if I go get some of those uh, little insoles that go in here, uh, that would that'd probably be nice. But all in all, the technology is there, right? And it won't be long before we'll have a print room which will house your washer and dryer, your um, you know hot water heater and stuff, a utility room, and you'll just uh, be from any computer in the house and just say, "I need a pair of tennis shoes." Uh, you already scanned your sole, so it's going to build that sole uh, directly to your foot. And maybe you'll just be able to sell your STL files to create shoes for people, just your designs. Um, but yeah, I think it's a, a big plus for 3D printing. I can't wait to do more. Um, I'm going to get some different colors, though. White gets dirty too quick. Uh, anyway, hey YouTube, if you made it this far, if you would like and subscribe, uh, I would appreciate it. The growth of the channel is really phenomenal. And we appreciate you guys so much. We're trying to create as many revenue streams as we can. And that's the only way to make it on YouTube and in 3D printing and just about anything these days. You can't just have one stream of revenue. I can go to work and work 40 hours a week and maybe just pay the bills because the bills used to be a lot lower uh, and I used to have a little extra money but now I don't so uh, YouTube I don't know what I'm printing next but I hope you're printing it with me now, thank you so much for watching I'll see you thanks